To make things easier, here's a quick narrated view of our response to the questions about the Glupiter proposal that we sent uh, to the Moore Foundation. Uh, there were three questions about an example illustrating the value of being able to explore data, another one about the number of windows that could run simultaneously, and another one about speed. Uh, so these slides answer those questions. I'll just say quickly that the number of windows is not limited uh, except by someone's threshold for confusion uh, and the amount of screen real estate. And the limits on speed is really just limited by the speed of the computer and the amount of memory that the computer has. There's nothing intrinsic to glue that uh, limit, limits the speed. And right now, uh, glue running on a desktop machine can run in real time for data sets that are many tens of gigabytes uh, connected to each other. So just to remind anyone who's watching, uh, Glue offers a flexible windowed environment. And so these rainbow colored little boxes are supposed to indicate different kinds of data viewers. They might be graphs or maps or charts or tables, but importantly, they're all windows that a user can control and resize and are all open in the same window um, on a desktop machine. And that same user may or may not also be using code uh, to run extra commands from a command line. And that's what's shown there in the IPython terminal. So Glue really is the best open source exploratory data analysis environment that's out there now. And it does offer this GUI windowed functionality or uh, command line tools or both, depending on what people would like. Uh, the bad thing is that it runs only on desktop computers and some people don't like installing desktop software. It also makes it harder to integrate with web tools very quickly. So we should just remind everybody that the word Glupiter has been used to mean running glue from Jupyter Notebooks, which is currently possible. Um, and also we have a very limited proto prototype of, of Glupiter that I'll show in a minute. So with regard to the questions, about the number of windows, glue, as I said before, is just limited by the size of a monitor and someone's tolerance for confusion. So it's really excellent for exploratory data analysis. Now here's Jupyter Notebook in a very schematic way. You see that it has this linear scrolling view, but importantly, it runs inside of a web browser and it's hugely popular with a giant community of data scientists. But this scrolling paradigm means that you can only see however many windows fit vertically in the area of the notebook that you happen to be looking at. And so if you're looking for real-time changes that are so key to exploratory data analysis as you make selections or change parameters, you can't see that happening in real time because those windows scroll off of the screen and you can't see them all at the same time. So the number of windows here is really limited by how many you can view simultaneously which is essentially limited by the size of the screen. So the utility for exploratory data analysis is quite low, unfortunately, because of this limitation of how many windows you can see at once and that they're all um, usually arranged vertically in a line. Okay, so what we wanna do is take those windows and put them back in a reconfigurable windowing layout and do it in a web browser in the infamous Glupiter, right? So, Obviously, the advantage of that is that it unifies the Jupyter and Glue communities and brings real exploratory data analysis to the Jupyter ecosystem. And it also solves the problem of people not being able or wanting to install a desktop tool. A lot of the work for this has already been done because we can already run Glue from Jupyter Notebooks and Jupyter Lab, which is a flexible windowing system that's part of the Jupyter ecosystem, already exists. And so whether we use Jupyter Lab the way it is or whether we improve Jupyter Lab as we describe in the proposal using things like Golden Layout remains to be seen. That's part of the work that we have to do. But what you see here is just the outcome, which is many windows, many viewers open at once so that the viewer, again, can see as many windows as they can fit on their desktop or essentially in their non-confused brain uh, to make use of them. So no, there's not a limit on the number of windows. And the utility for exploratory data analysis is very high. Okay, so here's an example. Um, we have a monitor on the roof of the Center for Astrophysics 
that tracks the three-dimensional positions of airplanes. We have a separate demo video um, about that. If, if anybody really wants to see that, we can make that available. And here's glue running on a desktop computer and somebody making a discovery about airplane flights. And essentially what they notice is that if they make a selection that's shown in blue here of airplanes that are rising, ascending, and red is airplanes that are descending, and then you look at the tracks in 2D in the upper left map, and then in 3D in the worldwide telescope view at the bottom, you notice that planes that are taking off turn immediately after they take off, and planes that are landing go straight, which if you've been on a plane is quite obvious, but it's kind of amazing to see it in the data and, and realize that obvious thing that you experience many times on a plane um, just from playing around with the data. And so this is a bit of a trivial example, but it's one that people can relate to in terms of why you would want so many different views and the ability to select interactively in real time. If anybody wants many more sophisticated examples uh, using real science data, we're happy to provide those as well. Um, so on the left here, what you see is the current state of the kind of proto-proto-glupiter, uh, where you can see an almost Jupiter notebook-like layout of one plot on top of each other. Again, this is using the very same airplane data. And you can see a bar graph of the uh, rate of ascent or descent of the planes. The color scheme is a little bit different. Sorry about that. Um, the planes that are going straight, we know, are descending. So those are green. And the ones that are ascending are red uh, uh, in this case, which is unfortunately the opposite of the view on the right. Sorry about that. Um, but anyway, on the right, you see where Glupiter would be heading. Uh, to look just like glue, uh, but run in a browser. And so the full working prototype that we propose would actually make it possible to add all the kinds of viewers and the kinds of layout tools that you need to be able to do what you see on the right. So the simplest way to think about this is the same number of windows and windowing paradigm that you can have now in a desktop application, you can have in a web application, much more tightly integrated with Jupyter, bringing glue to the much larger community of Jupyter users. And that's about it for our answers. Thanks.